Hello and welcome to a new video about the electric field. Today we want to talk about what is happening if we are using some kind of matter. This time we are talking about conductive material. Yeah. What is happening if we place this into electric field? So, actually we have here some conductive material. Right. And we want to know what is happening if we are introducing this conductive material in here, in this electric field, we place it here. What effects do we, do we see afterwards? Okay. Here I have drawn these this, uh, two plates. Yeah, with a homogeneous field inside. Yeah. We talked about this uh, last time when we talked about how and of course here at the edge we would have little disturbances but we don't want to be that accurate yeah, just from, from the principal point of view. So this is a conductive material. So actually what we have here inside is some positive nucleus somewhere usually. Yeah distributed somehow yeah? and then we said when we talked about the conductive materials we said we do have to each atom somewhere negative uh, electrons okay they are distributed evenly distributed because they want to have uh, as much space between them as they can so they will get evenly distributed without an electric field and then, now we are placing this inside here, right? Here we are placing this. Now the conductive material is here. What is happening? Of course, the electric field will produce a force. Hmm? Will produce a force to the charged particles in there. So there will be a force on the positively charged particles and there will be a force on the negatively charged particles. The positive ones are fixed to the places, the negative ones may wander because it's conductive material, it's a conductor. <laughs> and let's think about if we have somewhere a surface. That's the surface now of our conductive material. And we have a field. I'll use here this and the field is going in this direction. So we have two components, two components of the field, one rectangular component and one component in direction of the surface, yeah? tangent. Yeah? So if I am now an electron and I would, or if I'm a charged particle and I will feel the force here from a, a field, I will try to follow this field. I cannot follow this field because I cannot get out of my material. This is not possible. To leave the material is not possible, right? So, I, the only thing I can do is I have to wander along here yeah, to at least compensate this tangential component of the field. Yeah? So, I, I'm going to wander here. How long do I? Proceed wandering until the field is just that way. 90 degree to the surface. Then my force would be directly out of the surface. I cannot leave the surface, so I stay where I am. I'm just getting pushed to the surface. But that's it. That's a rule. That's a rule of a con in the conductive material. The electric field can only enter in a rectangle, in a rectangular angle. There is no angle in between because then the charges inside would distribute different. What does it mean now with our homogeneous field? Well, here the middle one is clear. It's entering rectangular, it's exiting rectangular. Yeah. The next one it is getting deformed. All right, it will go down, entering rectangular, leaving rectangular, 
And so the, the previously, here we have always 90 degree, all right? The previously homogeneous field will be deformed and we are entering always with 90 degree our conductive material and actually that's it. This is how it would look like. So we have always, of course there are more disturbances and so on, but in principle this is how it would look like. Yeah? In theory. So what is happening here? All the minus particles are summing up and on the other side, because the minus the electrons left, only the positive charges are left. Huh? That's it. Inside a conductive material, there is no field at all. Yeah? So inside here, we have no field, because there is an additional field which is comp exactly compensating the outer field, uh, exactly. Because if there would be still some part left, then if there is immediate movement of the particles which can move <laughs> and it will arrange themselves until there is no internal force and if there is no internal force on the charged particles, there is no field. No field. All right. So, inside a conductive, conductive material is no field. It is exactly compensated. by an additional internal field. Because, the, of course, there's a field, because here plus and here's minus, so there's a field. But this field internally is exactly compensating the outer field, and so we have nothing. <laughs> and what is happening now if we are using something like this? And we have a hole in the middle. And we have nothing in the middle. And actually, it is looking exactly the same. From the out, outer point of view, it is looking exactly, exactly the same. So we don't see any much difference. We are entering 90 degree, we are exiting 90 degree. This is getting deformed. So from outside of view, Outside, we don't see this hole in the middle. Hmm? We don't see this hole in the middle at all. And there are also... the charges here. So on this side we have the plus charges. I did not count them. Yeah. At this side we have the minus charges. Of course, they should be all, always the same. And if there is a hole in the middle or something like that, there is also no field. No field. Because this internal, even if there is no, no charge or no, no material left, yeah, but the, it is compensated. Yeah. So inside, a hollow space, there is also no field. This thing is a cage, Faraday cage. Yeah, it's called Faradayshakevi 
I wonder if this is also called Cajun in English. I don't really know. Yeah. But you can shield. Yeah. It's shielded. It's name. Shielded. The electric field is shielded by this conductive hull. There is no, there is no, nothing inside. Faraday. Faraday Shakivik. Faraday's cage. I will look it up how it is called in English. Yeah, this is happening if you have conductive material. So the arrangement of the movable little charges will alter everything. <laughs> and inside there is no, no, no field. So we can enter two little plates. Uh, let's say here is a plate. Here is a plate. They are made of conductive material. Yeah, and they are connecting to each they are connected to each other. So if I have now an outer field, here I have my field. This outer field is almost not disturbed by this. So here we they will insert 90 degree. We have said this is fulfilled. No issue here. Yeah. So this homogeneous field is almost not disturbed by these two plates. Yeah? However, what is happening is that here we will have minus particles. Yeah? Here we have left overs plus. Yeah? And this is, this is now two charged plates. Yeah? And now I can start to pull those plates apart. Okay. So what is happening if I'm pulling now those plates apart? So there is this one plate. There's the other plate. Yeah? Since they are no longer connected to each other, this will stay positively charged. This will stay negatively charged. All right. And here we have still the field, this is stopped here, it's appearing here, it's stopped here, it's stopped here, it's appearing here, it's appearing here, and between the two plates I have nothing. I have no field. Okay. So due to the separation of these of these uh, charges and I'm pulling this apart, I can make a field-free area. Yeah, these charges which are here, they are inducted. Yeah, inducted charges. Electrostatic induction. This is called. In German, influenziert, influence. Yeah. And if I know the area of those two little blades, yeah, I can even measure the flux density. Yeah. Because, you know, charges and area, charge, area, charge is the flux. Yeah. And then if I know the area, I can measure the flux density. Because this is actually the the charge divided by the area of this of these little plates, uh, and so I can measure flux density, and then I can also measure the strength of the electric field, since we know there's a relationship between relationship between those two things. Uh. So this is how a conductive a conductor is behaving in an electric field. Next time we're going to talk about what is happening if we have an isolating material. Then those things do not apply, right? Because then this, these charges cannot move because it's an isolating material, can simply cannot move. Uh, so does it have an effect on the electric field? And I think I tell no secret if I tell you yes. But why? We will see in next video. Why? So was the question. But why? How?
<laughs> next video uh, isolator in the electric field. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.